And it's Louie who is able to drop Saber. Spillane, feed, shot, score. It comes from the far pole as Kaylee Campbell, the sophomore out of Colchester, Vermont, able to beat Lindquist low for the first score of the game. Sell yourself short. You're a pro's <laughs> pro. You're much, you, brevity is key, and you're much better at, the, better at it than I. See, there I go again. Meanwhile, Boyer with plenty of room. going to fire and score. That may have been redirected, but it looks like Boyer is going to get the credit as she celebrates in the middle of that at St. Anselm hug, essentially. You could fit a basketball through that, that hole. Yeah. Took the grounds crew about 15 minutes or so to get everything settled. Meanwhile, Marshall goes five hole from just outside the crease. And the Hawks increase their lead to 3 nothing. Oh, I like that one. As we saw, Campbell, Sprague, and Marshall light the lamp. Meanwhile, Spillane trying to find a little bit of room along the far pole. A pileup ensues in front of the crease. Spillane stays with it, goes with the backhand, and sneaks it through the five hole for the score. The smiling captain celebrates with her teammates as St. Ansem now leads 4 0. Splintered away there by Lundquist. Gorecki will recover. And now come middle. Back in. Feed Moran. Top shelf score. Blocker side over the right shoulder of Lundquist. Moran lights the lamp, and the Hawks have retaken a four-goal advantage. Now out in front, five to one. What a tremendous pass by Paige Gorecki. The girls did a really good job of just battling, especially after we just played two really good games on the road, and it was a long road trip for us. And then we've got to get ready to go to Holy Cross tomorrow. So this has definitely been a tough stretch, but the girls are they're they're battling. Oh, it actually was a very odd. I've never seen that in my 15 years of coaching, um, but it was. I think the kids took it in stride. We've been trying to explain to them about adversity and. You never know what it's going to come, what it's going to look like, whether you go down by a goal or the, there's a hole in the board. It's like just being able to roll with it and saying, hey, let's make sure we're ready to go when it's time. I think they're holding up. I mean, we're definitely getting tired. We're definitely getting fatigued, but that's I think that's normal. Um, I'm not sure that would have happened. I, I think that would have happened if we had just come back and practiced and practiced and practiced because you just kind of get a little mundane with doing the same thing every day. So I think this has been good. I think it's a little bit of adversity, and I think the team's responding well. Really nice. I think our scoring's been coming from everywhere this this year, which is really helpful. Um, I don't want to have to rely on just one or two players. I thought we've had, a, we've had some really good balance with our scoring, and I also think it's important to get some of the younger players some, some time. And that fourth line got quite a few shifts tonight, and they're just younger players. They're going to be good too, but they just need to, you know, we've got some good upperclassmen who need to finish out here. So it was good to get everybody some time tonight.